Hey everyone, today I'll be talking about the email configuration which is a crucial step in setting up Favio. It's essential to configure your email for the basic functioning and ticket creation. So let's get started by creating an email. So first go to the admin panel. Under the email section you can select emails. And then click on the blue icon that says create email. Alright, so here you can enter the email address. And next we have the username. So username and email address will be same unless your service provider has a different username and email address. In my case, it's the same email address. So I'll be copying it here. And then we have the from name. So this particular name will be displayed when you send out mails. Enter the password for the email address here. So next we have department. It can either be system default or a particular department. So when I select a particular department here and a client raises a ticket with the department as support, then test.favio.gmail.com will be used to receive the ticket and also the agent reply will be sent out using test.favio.gmail.com. When I select system default, it means that when a ticket is raised with any department, then we make use of this particular email address. The same holds good for priority and help topic. It can either be system default or a particular priority that you would prefer. And help topic, it's the same again. So I'll be selecting system default here. And then we have auto response. So auto response is when you receive mail from the client and also you reply back on it. So if you click on disable, then you cannot see any mails that you receive from the client. So we just leave it at auto response. We leave it enabled. And then we have the incoming email information. So first we enable the status. So the protocol here can either be IMAP or POP3. So I'll be making use of IMAP. So the host name and port number can vary for the type of mail server that you're using. Since I'm using Gmail, I'll show you how to get it from Gmail. So under the settings in Gmail, you have forwarding and pop slash IMAP. So here we enable the IMAP and then click on learn more. So that gives you the page where you can Copy the host name and also the port number is 993. You have the host name and the port number here. And the encryption is via SSL. So, or it can be TLS or start TLS. I'll be giving it as SSL. And the authentication is normal password. So if you have any certificates for TLS or SSL server, then you can validate it. So if you, you can just click on enable, else you can just disable it. So this is the incoming email information. Next we have the outgoing email information. So first set the status as enable. And then we have different transfer protocols where you have SMTP, and you have PHP mail. So you make use of PHP mail only when you are having the same domain for your incoming and outgoing mails. And then we have the third party service providers like SendMail, Mailgun and Mandrill where these are the paid services which are used to send out email. So I'll be showing you how to do it with SMTP. So again, for the host name, we go back to the Gmail settings page. So here you have the host name. 
and the port number for SSL is 465 and if you are making use of TLS and star TLS then it is 587. So we have the host name. I will be making use of SSL so it is 465 and the authentication is via normal password. So this is about the outgoing email information. So you can have one particular email address to only receive mails from the client and you can have another email address to just send out the replies to the client. So in that case, say suppose I want to use test.fabio at the rate gmail.com just for receiving mails from the client. Then I enter the incoming details here and leave the outgoing details blank. So that is how we set it for incoming email and if I would want to make use of support at the rate fabio.com for outgoing purpose then I fill in the details for outgoing information where I leave the incoming information as blank. So this is how you can set two different email addresses for incoming and outgoing emails or you can make use of one particular email address to send out mails and also to receive mails. And then we have internal nodes. So here you can enter the nodes which you would like to share with your admin. So next we have an option to make this particular email address as a system default email. Where this particular email address will be used to receive tickets from the client and also the agent reply will be made from this particular email address. Now you can just save the settings. Here we have successfully created the email address. So this is how we configure emails in Favio. If you have any doubts regarding this video, please do comment. I'll be happy to answer. Thank you.